come along as I visit Hemi Brothers, a farmstead creamery right here in Missouri. It's really uh, bright in here. You can tell when it's clean or dirty, I guess, with all the white. Is day. Yeah. We start at 1.30. Oh. Uh, people don't understand the red floor. Oh, yeah. But the red floor is to where you can see one speck. Yeah, uh, any milk a, or a, any a cheese. Wide cheese curd on this floor. You can see it from 20 feet away. And then uh, wow. pull the drains, say, uh, scrub the drains, uh, take the covers and the screens off, hand wash them, put them back, and then you re foam it. And then uh, you squeegee the. Yeah. Uh, the Listeria loves wet. And so we try to get rid of as much moisture as we can by squeegeeing the floors. Okay. But uh, then tomorrow morning, um, before Nathan loads up to go to Columbia, he'll come in, and I don't know what, what flavor this is, but we're making two, four, six, twelve, thirteen, we're making thirteen 40 pound blocks of cheddar right now. So, uh, 4 a.m. this morning. Uh, and it's packing it down, uh -huh, like yeah. from the top? Yep, you have to put, uh, put pressure on it. It's never going to get cooled down until tomorrow. Yeah. It's just, this is just the way it is. Yeah. And, and the FDA is fine with that. Um, Missouri Department of Ag is it's just that is the proper way to do it. Yeah. But once it gets once it, cold, get, once they it leaves don't... here, then then people freak out. It won't won't hurt a thing. <laughs> but that's just, and I won't live long enough to change those rules. It's not like Europe where they do something with their cheese that most Americans aren't used to. Right. They eat it instead of throwing it in the refrigerator for six months. Yeah. And, and then pitch about half of it. Yeah. So, in any event, yeah, that'll sit there tomorrow morning. He'll get in here. Oh, he doesn't have to get get in here super early. He'll probably get in here oh, like at four. <laughs> the fact that four isn't super early is insane. Oh, no. No, well, you, you're used to one thirty. Four is yeah. not early. Yeah. Um, Saturday so, is so he'll easy. take 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 him out. Um, Put, take them out of this and then put them in a plastic bag, weigh them, cryovac them, and then put them in a wooden box, then put them in our aging facility, then come back in. You're going to have to wash all, all of those that. Yeah. before he gets to where he can start loading up to go to Columbia to the farmer's market and has to be there ready to sell by 8 o'clock. I was going to say, yeah, got to get out of here. Yeah, really. so he, by 6.30, he's got to be loaded up and on yeah, the road. Yeah, Could you explain how this works? Okay, the, all that labyrinth of plumbing over there, yeah. that's all basically goes into the pasteurization okay. um, and then the stabilization of these vats. These are vat pasteurizers. So th these are dual line hot water circulates inside inside, inside of here. Mm -hmm. And so that so it'll bring the, the milk up to temperature then we hold it. We can go back every piece of cheese that we have here we know exactly when it was made in which vat it was made in. And we can go to the pasteurization chart which is uh, checked by by FDA and uh, Missouri Department of Ag, and then we can say, here's our chart. It was pasteurized. Right there, that little, that little vent. Yeah. Okay, that's double vented, that's uh, double filtered air comes from the outside. So every time that door opens, air leaks. Uh -huh. Just like in an operating room. Yeah. If you have positive air pressure, you don't want, you never want any type of pathogen to come in. You always want when you open a door, anything would is pushed out. Yeah. And yeah. So when you like look an at this, airlock almost. Yeah. When you look at the way this thing's built, this is the center. 
This is the Holy of Holies. All the all the doors come here. <laughs> the Holy of Holies. <laughs> That's right. Any event. So like those blocks today, they'll come in here. They'll get uh, vacuumed. Put them in a bag. They'll come in here. This is our aging facility. Some people refer to it as a cave, Ooh. but it's basically uh, this room. That, that thermometer isn't right. This this room is a stable 54 degrees. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, uh, it's nothing like the finished good room. But, but this is our aging room. So this cheese right here, from the time that it, this is our brother's keeper. This is our aged cheddar. From the time we start the pasteurization process, it'll be a full year, and it will never be below 54 degrees. Ever. And when it gets cold, it's super cold, like 20 below zero, yeah. we will bring a milk house heater in here. It'll be 54 to here. keep it warm, <laughs> because we have to keep it at a stable 54, and there's no heat in here. Yeah. So we'll have to bring heat in here to keep our cheese warm. And then you'll see places like... Uh, here. They're uneven. So what we do when a cheese gets to be about uh, oh, 90, 100 days uh, and we need to smoke some cheese and want applewood smoke, we'll come in here and get, get them from here. Yeah. Or, or, or mild cheddar. Because uh, our uh, aged cheddar is too dense. It will not take smoke. Oh, okay. And, and so it just goes to the, just, it's on the outside, but it won't get on anything on the inside. Like our curds are and very you don't open. don't want just the rind or the outside. No, guy. no. Yeah. So you want that to penetrate. Uh, like our curds, we can't put those in the smoker very long. Yeah. Because um, they'll get too smoky because they're very open. Yeah. In any event, now this is going to be our, um, this is where we keep our uh, flavored cheeses. Look at that like this would be the a rub and smoke. Uh, that looks like that would be. Uh, uh, <laughs> not sure what that one is <laughs> because those curds aren't mashed like they should. Yeah. Anyway, there would be like an espresso. Uh, spicy ghost and all those are in but like our espresso cheddar it is really really good but we would have never thought of that yeah until you saw somebody else had it and you thought yeah oh, and it are, you know i think this that's pretty good it's yeah. a nice compliment to the other stuff you got <laughs> well yeah and then uh oh the better cheddar's a um, really nice cheese shop down the plaza. Yeah. And they want us to make horseradish cheddar. Oh, I've had some. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> so in any event... I've uh, had some horseradish cheddar and it was really good. And in St. Louis, we're like horseradish central because it's <laughs> grown right across the river. Okay. So much horseradish is grown in Illinois, just on the Collinsville, oh. Illinois. So like, anyway, that may, but th those new cheeses are something we do in the winter. Yeah. To, to develop. This time of year, we don't have time for it. Because uh, you're doing all the farmer's markets and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, we are way too busy. And then uh, a feta. And we did a melting cheese last week. Yeah. And so, uh, so maybe this coming winter we'll do something like that. I'm telling you, it was good. <laughs> we will put five pounds of mozzarella curd in a bag. And then we will take this and we have restaurants that take this and then they, they hand stretch it themselves. And uh, we have several in Kansas City and St. Louis that want to do the, the stretching themselves so so we, we'll make the curd uh put it five uh, pound <laughs> increments and and ship it to them and then they can thaw it out and do their own now this is some leftover uh, mozzarella balls that we had My and uh, well we don't uh, always sell everything <laughs> depending on the weather tomorrow it's going to be i get we'll we'll be probably be bringing some more home but then we keep, uh, we do have charcuterie, and we do have a charcuterie in those two. But um, we were doing um, just 
half of this up until this past year. Uh, probably, oh, that was early spring, I guess, when we finally got this thing finished. So it doubled our capacity as far as. Oh, nice. Uh, we have. Uh, That's ahead. a hell of a walk in. Now, this is. Ooh. This is our finished good room. Now, this. So this is a mozzarella ready to go to C Como. Columbia tomorrow. That's Como. <laughs> OP. <laughs> Over Overland Park, Park. Farmer's Market. <laughs> so, so that goes to him and I'll, and I'll load this up. And then I've got my stuff, my other cheeses and meat sorted out over here. And, uh, but uh, just, I've got, uh, we're in, in an asphalt parking lot in Overland Park. And it's hotter than hell. And tomorrow's one's supposed to be about 100 degrees. So what I'll do is I'll fill both of those thermoses up with ice water. And I'll let my, my customers, even even if aren't my customers, hey, whoever's there. I'll have friends. Yeah, if and you know, that's, drink. they try to build, you know what, I will not lose a moment of sleep giving someone water. free ice water when it's 100 degrees. I will, that, that's. That's an easy one to do. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. I mean, hell, why wouldn't I? You know, they're, <laughs> you know they could go to an air conditioned grocery store too. But there's uh, our feta. We have it in both uh, crumbles because it doesn't behave. Oh. And then we have it in, in eight ounce blocks. So. Uh, the rest of the stuff for the charcuterie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have uh, capicola, sweet bologna, Spanish chorizo, and sopasada. And then that's our cork. And there's like a, a hidden honey that, that cork is, over there. Yep, there's. Uh, <laughs> There's the... Uh, that was an award winner, right? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. We won one of class with that one. But then uh, th then we have seven... Our blocks are seven different flavors of our blocks that we take every week. Yeah. And if somebody wants something special, then we'll... We'll bring them something. You yeah. Know, they want they let us, they let you know. Yeah. Just call, and we take five flavors of curds, but we have ten. <laughs> so we have people that will say, I want... Uh, can you bring me two bags of chive? Yeah. Oh, sure. We'd, we'd take two bags of chive, and we'd take two bags of chive. Now, this wall here, um, this is the third uh, PO, the Burger Smokehouse in California, Missouri. <laughs> now, we've got this pallet is done. Uh, most of our uh, most of our customers buy by the piece. Um, burgers, they, they buy cheese by the pallet. <laughs> Burger Smokehouse, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, they do all yeah. these uh, smoked meat. Yeah. Any event. The it, charcuteries and stuff, they just sell it like crazy. And, um, but uh, mostly, uh, they still send out three million catalogs. Besides their e-commerce. Yeah. And so uh, they, wow. they go with the rub and smoke and our brother Skeeper. And here's the rub and smoke. And this is a smoked, but it looks really nice. It does look pretty. It, it's pretty and has, has that, the, that eye appeal. Has the eye appeal. And that's what burgers, why they went with this one over just the traditional uh, smoke. Yeah. And, and so... Um, I mean, it, and it's, it's pretty. I like it. Well, that's what we do when we uh, when somebody comes comes to me at at the farmers market, and they they want to have something for cheese board. Yeah. So they have okay. This uh, brothers keepers are age cheddar. Forty percent of our sales is this one. Mm -hmm. But then we put put the rub and smoke for for a little uh, pretty, a little hue mm -hmm. there. And then just for kicks and grins, we'll go ahead and put that espresso cheddar with it because it it doesn't taste like coffee. All right. It alters the flavor of the cheddar, and then you get a hint of coffee on the backside. And that's what people want. They want something. You're just going to have to run my credit card before I leave. I brought a cooler because I'm going oh, yeah. to visit friends. Oh, there you and go. I'm just going to have to have one of everything. 
but uh, we can that's... do that before I leave. Okay, but then uh, th this is uh, the feta blocks. Yeah. And we got through uh, working those up, and, and we so need... some of that quirk goes to like food service or like Th this is all food good. service yeah. right here okay That's now uh, there's more and more we're finding that uh, people are getting used to how to cook with it yeah and so they they this they is half that size. this is less than half price of the little jars and so this gets the price down per ounce uh, a Käsekuchen, which would be a german cheesecake nine out nine inch spring form pan not that all that big will take a two pound tub but it is cheap but you have to take it somewhere because it's so damn good filling you can't you can't <laughs> you can't eat the whole thing it's impossible and it, uh, you know what I, I can i can eat it's for family reunion yeah yeah it is stuff. yeah yeah That's what it's for. but then of course we we can call this our billy bob wall <laughs> This is cheese curds. <laughs> and we had no idea where we were going with, with this business when we started. But cheese curds, we're talking probably throughout the entire year, maybe 1,500 bags a week would be an average week. That is a, that is, you know, you're talking about 50, 50 milk crates of cheese curds. But I love that's, cheese that's, curds. That people just and uh, you know, these are put in. Uh, we got found the bag that we we're you know it's a resealable bag. Yep, there you go. And so if they want to go to uh, a fishing trip or floating, uh, if they want to go to a, a ball game, you know they can throw this in the cooler and eat a little bit. And uh, if they don't eat the whole thing, then they can reseal it and throw it back in there. So. I love cheese curds. In <laughs> California, they call them squeakers. Yeah, yeah. So, in any event, now, Whew. here is the unruly feta. This this is sitting there. Uh, once we put it... <laughs> unruly feta. Well, it, feta, you don't... You don't, press, you don't pack it. You don't yeah. pack it. It's just on its own way. <laughs> so, you know, these are the ones that, you know, they held together well enough that and they're not even good <laughs> that's nothing there's nothing clean about you know this is and that's worse <laughs> and so so uh but air is oxygen and cheats so we we have to when we put it in the little plastic containers like we have down there uh We've got about 60 days yeah. to get it out. And so we'll leave it in here until we get our inventory yeah. down, and then we'll do another batch. Yeah. But we can keep the oxygen off of it in here, and, and everything will be fine. But even our wow. set of blocks don't... There's eight ounces in there, <laughs> but, but they're ugly. It's an unruly eight ounces. <laughs> yeah, it is. We, we really like, you know, to have something that looks... You know, a little nice or a little... <laughs> and Feta just kind of screws everything up. <laughs> so we go to Messenger Coffee in downtown Kansas City. <laughs> and they That's grind... for your espresso. This is for our espresso cheddar. Yeah. So they, they, they'll grind... Um, they'll grind the, the espresso up for us and... Yeah. Thanks for checking out our videos. We'd love for you to subscribe, watch some more videos, follow our podcast in general. I'm your host, Janice Person.